Hello guys, Solitary Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Season 4 of Day Alive. I've already reviewed the first three seasons, so I decided to watch Season 4 as well. In this season, Shido still has a mission of dating spirits and stealing their power. However, this time a spirit named Nia is the one to talk to him first, and it seems like she knows all about him. She challenges Shido to make her fall in love with him. So by now she knows how this anime goes with its dates and Shido making choices. How much you enjoy Season 4 depends a lot on how much you like the new spirits that are introduced in the season. I had mixed feelings about new characters in the season. I just didn't find Nia or her arc that enjoyable to watch. On the other hand, I really liked the character Mukuro in the season. Nia's arc really started on an interesting note, with Nia flirting with Shido, but then we learned that she is more into 2D guys, and she obviously stopped flirting with him after that. Throughout the arc, she had an annoyed tone when talking to Shido, and was starting to get annoyed to hear her talk. I've had bad first impressions of characters before in the show, like with Miku from season 2. Miku was very annoying in season 2, but then she went dear dear and was enjoyable hearing her call Shido darling. After Shido gets Nia to open up her heart to him, she doesn't really act much better towards him. Instead of annoyed, now she doesn't show much of a reaction at all to him. In fact, she barely got any screen time after her arc. It was just poor development of the character. There was that one scene where she and a couple of the other girls were reviewing clothes in front of Shido, but that was more for training and helping Shido get ready for his date. It wasn't really affection towards him. Not to mention, the solution to getting her to open up the heart towards Shido was so predictable and anticlimactic. I was hoping for a more memorable kiss. Nia's character design is also the worst out of all the female characters. So, not only is her personality frustrating and boring to watch, she isn't even that physically attractive as well. This season was off to a boring start, but Mukuro saved the season. She was so much better as a character. At first, she seemed like a typical Kudir. But once Shido got her to show her true self, that's when the season became interesting. Her personality took an unexpected turn. I was definitely not expecting that. It's like, how do you deal with a spirit that acts that way and stays safe in the process? She was very hard to read as a character. You didn't know what she would do next, and that's what made her so enjoyable to watch as a character. The rest of the season focused on mysteries behind the spirit origin and Kurumi's goal, which were both interesting to learn about. It was so entertaining seeing Kurumi interact with Shido again and seeing her try and make him feel embarrassed. Every time they talked, it was must-watch scene, because it was so funny and entertaining to watch. This season really did a great job with Kurumi's characterization. She's not just this crazy character once called destruction. That was my impression of her throughout the seasons. Once you learn about her true goal, and how she really acts, you can't help but like her. It really improved my view of her. Now, I'll actually be sad if anything bad happened to her character. This season provides so much information about how spirits are created, and what their inverse form really represents. It makes you want to watch more of the series. Now I can't wait for season 5 to air in the near future. I've already talked about two new characters in the season. I expect Mukuro to continue to be entertaining. But I just don't see how Nia will be entertaining at all. At best, she'll be like a less dear dear version of Miku. A character like Miku is already enough for me. I don't really care for Nia. The opening song for his season was alright, but I liked the opening song in previous seasons much more. The ending song was alright as well, the music throughout the season wasn't ever really that great, it just didn't feel emotional to hear. The animation style did look different in the season, but it still looked pretty good. The animation looked great throughout the anime series. This season had a slow start, but it got very interesting once Mukuro gets introduced, and gets even more entertaining when Kurumi gets a lot of screen time. I give this season a 7 out of 10. So that's all I'm talk about for this video, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.